Okay, uh, I think we're ready to record. This is um, an overview of connecting my render hosted application, the logs, to Datadog. So um, originally this, this idea I had was going to be like a Flutter application, and then I pivoted and developed um, an application that is really telephone only. So the client is not a browser or a mobile app. It is your phone. You call in, and then the software that's hosted interacts with um, Twilio and Stripe um, to provide uh, services to connect people together when they want to find a language partner. Okay, and that's at uh, round uh, dash robin uh, dot app. Okay, so I'm going to blur some of this stuff out later, but I'll show you kind of what I'm looking at. On my, my service, um, inside render, like if you go to the dashboard and you have a web service, um, you can go to logs. And like, this is fine if you're just like, whatever, hanging out, you, know, you have just a little hobby. But as soon as you have more users um, and you need to maybe search these logs, it's going to become a lot harder. Um, so this is just kind of a temporary thing. Um, what you really need is um, to connect some log streams. Okay, so I think I had already opened that here. And they basically use this thing that they call syslog. I don't know anything about syslog or TLS enabled stuff, but um, the people that built Render do, so thank you. Um, they have supported providers. Okay, so there's Paper Trail, uh, Logtail, Datadog. They list log DNA, but uh, at this time, um, they're saying there's there's some issues there. Paper Trail only has like I think 50 megs per month on the free plan. Logtail gives you a gig. But again, Datadog is just so robust, and since everybody seems to be using it, even though I hate using it, probably just because it's like hasn't been configured correctly or I haven't learned uh, how to use it, um, I need to just jump in and, and, and do it. And so I think these log dumps to Datadog are going to be a good way to get exposure to Datadog. Mm, there's one difference, though, that uh, Render mentions. And that it has something to do with authentication. So there's just like an extra step to take um, if you're using Datadog. So let's just go through it. Um, I'm going to set up my logs and see what happens. All right, create or retrieve an API key from your Datadog settings. So we need Datadog. They have this page here called Datadog for Startups. It's just a marketing page with an email if you want um, better pricing. I'm just going to do the free version for now, but um, since I am bootstrapping this and don't have any funding yet, um, I may <laughs> I may need more services and I don't want to pay uh, out the nose. So let's get started for free. Okay, yeah, I already started filling this in. Okay, so just putting in some Google App Engine user, no, I'm not. Okay, so Google sign up is what I'm gonna do. Data hosted, US one, that sounds good. And basically it's like US or Europe. Um, so let's just do US. Okay, let's authenticate. Tell us about your stack. Do you have render? It's uh, Ruby. Oh, these things aren't clickable. No, it's still loading. I don't think they're clickable. They look clickable. They're not. <laughs> oh, maybe they are. What's going on here? Ah, they are. Something is just really slow. Okay. Did I click you? Did I? What is happening? Okay. So I clicked it and it check mark. Um, 
So select your services. I'm using all these things and that. Um, I might use a little bit of that. And um, what else? What else? What else? Mm, no. Mm, nope, 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 nope. Okay. So there's my stack. And you can see it, right? Uh, let's say render. What does your organization look like? How many servers? I don't know. I think I have like three. So a server is just software, right? If I go back to my render dashboard, you know, I've got a web service. I've got a background worker for Sidekick. I've got Postgres. And I've got um, Redis, two instances of it. So is, is that five servers? I, I don't know. Um, let's go with five. Are you a managed service provider? Am I a host? No, I'm not. Um, dump logs from render. And if they have an account manager who sees this, I will just give them this little link to go to in case they've never encountered it. There you go. Okay, install your first Datadog agent. Um, okay, what do I need? And again, this is like, my computer is churning. This page is loading a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, what agents do I need? I don't, I don't know, you know? Um, No idea. You only need one to get started. Then you can instrument your system using our API or cloud integrations. So I do need an agent, apparently. <sighs> okay. Okay, so this is just used. Okay. Installing on Mac OS X. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay, this is coming back to me now. I remember when we evaluated this at a different company. Yeah. Okay. So there's a Datadog agent, and I have to install it on my local machine. Okay, so let's do that. Open up terminal. Okay, it's on a different screen. Paste that in. Downloading Datadog agent. 0.11%. Okay, it's taking a little bit. <coughs> Use the Datadog agent app in the system tray or the command line Datadog agent located in user local bin. Enable disable integrations in conf D. Okay. By default, the agent will run at login. You can disable it via the system tray. If you want to run it at boot time, execute these commands. That's interesting. You have to have an agent, something. I guess they do this to prevent abuse of the system or something. I don't know. I just need a Datadog account. And then it's almost like I need, maybe if I was deploying on Heroku, I would install the Datadog agent to Heroku. Okay. 26%. Upgrade from agent 5 to or 6. Right. But I am a new installation. So I'm going to disregard all this stuff down here. So I'm using V7, Mac OS 10.12, 
what am I using? I'm on Monterey, which is Mac OS 12. Okay. All right. So we're just waiting. I'm going to maybe pause the recording. Okay. I am resuming the recording. Um, I had to enter my password in terminal, and now it's saying, Terminal wants to access control system events, allowing control to provide access to documents and data in system events and perform actions within that app. Okay, I will allow it. All right, now it's restarting the agent. Okay. And another pop-up. Okay. And I got a good message. Your agent is running properly. If you ever want to stop the agent, please use the Datadog agent app or the launch CTL command, and we'll restart automatically to log in. Okay, yet another tool in my developer tool set. Um, okay, I assume that this little loading symbol, okay, you have your first agent running, congrats. And the finish button is now enabled, which is what I want. Cool. So we should be able to do things. Um, we're a little further on in the uh, in the process, and that's what we do as developers. We just get a little further on <laughs> until we have nowhere else to go. That means we're done. Excuse me. Okay. So I think that's good. Um, let's jog our memory. What do we need to do? Retrieve an API key from Datadog settings. Okay, so it looks like they're on integrations, APIs, and then we've got an API key that we need to create. Where was I? Here. Integrations. Let's see if they have something for render. I don't think so. Okay. So I clicked on APIs. Um, API keys have moved to the organization settings page. Okay. API key is required by the Datadog agent to submit metrics and events to Datadog. Okay, so this is in the organizations page. Yeah, so they could probably maybe update this this image. I don't know how you get to organization settings. I assume it's in one of the organization settings. Yeah, down here. Okay, so I've I've got an API key that was automatically created by installing the agent on my machine. Um, what happens when I click on it? Okay, it's just a different view. I can copy it. Okay, so I'm going to copy that API key. Okay, which is different from the key ID, I believe. Right? So, I, yeah, so I copied the key and we've never been able to see that. Um, create or retrieve an API key. Okay. So we are going to retrieve it into the API key in the token field and use the endpoint that corresponds to your Datadog site. I don't know if this is the exact value or just an example. We'll try this one. Okay, so let's first enter the API key in the token field. Where is the token field? What are they talking about? Um, 
Sneak log stream section. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Add log stream. Um, so the token, it says it's optional. It's interesting. Okay. So I've just pasted that in there. And then the log endpoint, they said to. Where is it? They said this one, US. Okay. Oh, that's that's right, that's right. Because all these other providers, they didn't require an API key. Um, they just required the endpoint, I think, or some some special way or something. Anyways, data dog, okay. So here is that endpoint like so. And save changes. Okay. I feel like I've done enough <laughs> that all of a sudden my logs are gonna just start getting schlepped over to Datadog. So where can I see the logs in Datadog? Where are they going? Uh, there's dashboards, infrastructure, monitors, metrics, integrations, APM, CI, notebook, logs, the one that says logs. I think that's a very good starting point. Okay. Okay. I don't want to get rid of this yet. I might read about that a little bit later. All right, test it. check this out. Um, 1757. Okay, so that was in my time zone about a minute ago. Render sent a render log endpoint test. Pretty cool. All right, this is getting a little more exciting. Um, let's let's try to trigger. Some activity shout. Whoa, okay, okay. Um, what is this? <laughs> okay, it looks like this came from Sidekick. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I have a job that runs once a minute. Okay, so that's coming over here. That's interesting. Um, yeah, it's not the prettiest thing looking at logs. And the fact that you can like click on each line and open a panel is kind of weird. Um, yeah. Okay, so, so that's working. Let me see if I can make a call as if I'm calling to find a language partner using the round robin app. Here we go. took over my Bluetooth, so I don't know if it, uh, came through. Oh, interesting. Are these all alerts? Are these all classified as alerts? Okay, yeah. So there's a little bit of a, a lag. I don't. It just could be my internet connection or the fact that I'm using Camtasia on my machine right now. Um, but yeah, it looks like it came through. It's so weird that it's like line by line, and you get this this panel that opens up. Um, I kind of want to see my params. I wish the escape key would close. Okay, yeah, there's my parameters. Um, yeah, very cool. Okay, so um, 
we basically started with looking at render um, and the, the logs that, that come out of the box, as they say, uh, that you get for free um, in, in the render dashboard for a particular service. We wanted to stream these logs somewhere. Okay, so we're sending them to Datadog. Uh, there were different providers, and because um, a lot of companies use Datadog, and even though I haven't had good experience with it, just from like a, a user experience standpoint, it's, it's kind of overwhelming for me. There's just so much going on. <laughs> um, that, uh, but you know, this is a great way for me to learn it because now it's it's something I really have to use every day and, and dive into. Um, Okay.